Tonal family. How are we doing today? My name is Kay. I am your community manager. Happy Veterans Day. I first of all want to thank the brave men and women in our community who have served and defended our country. We appreciate you and we are honored to have you in here. Tonight, we have a very, very special episode of Tonal Talk. We have Tonal's newest guest coach joining me this evening. Uh, if you know, you know. <laughs> before, before we bring him in, I'm just going to give you all a few updates. We're going to give people a few moments to join. Um, so you might have noticed some new content on your trainer today. We have a new workout format, and this is called Live Beta. It is so exciting. I have been waiting to announce it to you all for a while now. It is my new favorite. It feels like you are working out with your coach. They are sweating along with you. They are doing the moves with you. You can see the you can see the veins, the sweat. It's all real. They are have real weight on their trainers and Tonal can count your reps as you're live. It's pretty magical. So be sure to check that out and let us know what you think about it. We have Pump It Up with Coach Paul, Total Body Burn with Coach Paul, Quick Fit Upper Body Burst with Coach Natalie and Quick Fit Up the Intensity with Coach Pablo, in addition to Tony Horton's new content on Tonal, which we are going to dive into tonight. So be sure to check those out. Let us know what you think. Say hello if you're here. Say hello. Hi, Dale. Hi, Timothy. We're going to jump right in tonight. We have limited time, so we're going to get right to it. My guest tonight is an icon in the fitness industry, and he now holds the esteemed accolade of being Tonal Blue's guest coach. He is the creator of the exercise phenomenon P90X and is also an accomplished author, speaker, coach, and former actor. He has trained hundreds of thousands of folks just like you and me through his P90X workout programs. And he also has a very long list of celebrity clientele, including Usher, Bruce Springsteen, Annie Lennox, Tom Petty, and so many more. You now have the opportunity to train with him exclusively on Tonal. And tonight he'll be telling us all about his new Tonal content and so much more. Please help me welcome the legend himself, Tony Horton. Welcome. Hello, Kate. Hello, everyone. So exciting to be here. Oh, my gosh. Tony on Total. Can it be true? It's a fitness match made in heaven. Look out, planet Earth. Here I come. It's a Tony talk tonight. I've been saying that all week. Like, I got my Tonal talk with Tony, my Tony talk. We're very oh, excited oh, to have oh. you here. Yeah, say that three times fast. Good luck with that. I know, I know, right? Thank you so much for being here this evening. Um, when I announced this this morning, the comment section just blew up. They were talking a lot about soup, a lot about pterodactyls. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the Horton heads were coming out of the woodwork. People who I never see posting were getting all up in there. So excited to welcome you into the Tonal family. So thank you for being here. Well, it, it's my pleasure. This is really super exciting. You know, I remember the first time I saw a tonal, I couldn't believe it was a real thing. You know, it was like looking at the space shuttle or or a moon landing or something. It just felt so futuristic. You know what I mean? It felt like seeing an electric car in 1963. You know what I mean? It was just, <laughs> wow, look at how this four feet tall and six inches deep and I can put this on my wall and I can do everything. You know, I mean, I, I was so thrilled. So, you know, I mean, I made some phone calls. My people talked to the tonal people and our people talked and then we talked and I had a great conversation. Yeah, we were talking. <laughs> yeah, and so um, it's just really exciting. And I hope everybody really enjoys these first, first five. We're already in the process of developing the next five. So it's really cool. And I want to thank you, Kate, for, you know, reaching out on Veterans Day. Really important to me as well. I've been to 61 military bases around the world. U.S. Right. joint bases from, from Kosovo to South Korea. I've been to Japan twice all over Europe. <clears throat> it was really cool. You know, when the Pentagon pays for your vacation trips, it's pretty, pretty great. But, you know, I mean, because of it, I, you know, I've, I've thrown up in seven in, in F-17s and Thunderbirds and jumped out of helicopters, which, you know, I don't know why I signed up for that stuff. But but it's just really it's really amazing to see what these men and women do and, and, uh, and their dedication. And so, yeah, today's a, a very important day. And thanks for mentioning that. Very special day, of course. Um, and so going back to, you mentioned 1963, um, you're pretty much a legend in the fitness industry. You've been around for a very long time. Uh, I imagine you get asked to do, you know, put your name behind the latest and greatest fitness trends 
constantly. And um, you're very particular about what you, who you partner with and what you promote. And um, I wanted to ask you, what made you choose uh, Tonal to partner with in particular, in, in particular, and what, what, what's this, what did, what really grabbed your attention about Tonal made you want to come coach with us? Well, you know, it's funny that you say that I get, I get asked to be part of a lot of the not so greatest in the latest, <laughs> the latest but not so greatest. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of stuff out there that just doesn't do what I want it to do. You, you know mm. what I mean? I like versatility. I like variety. I, I like, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a huge tech person. You know what I mean? That was one of the initial things that scared me about Tonal, but then I realized how easy it was. I was like, what am I getting nervous about? Because this thing is as easy as, you know, as anything I've ever owned. Um, and um, it, it's just because it's such a, such an incredible piece of equipment that does so many things and it offers so many things, you know, I mean, like the change mode alone on that is just so badass, you know, and of course, eccentric that and the, and the smart flex option, it's just, you know, and it's pro, you know what I mean? all the geniuses that are behind the scenes are always creating new ways to make it better. And it's not like you got to go to some retail store to buy a part, to bring it mm -hmm. home, to attach, you know what I mean? I mean, it's the simplicity of it, the, 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 the wide variety and talk about something that came in at just the right time with all these people who used to be gym members. I mean, if you look at the bubble during the NBA playoffs, I, there were 12 of them down there and all the, all the players were using it because they didn't have access to anything else, you know what I mean? And they all fell in love with it. And Steph Curry's involved with Tonal now. And, mm -hmm. and for obvious reasons, I mean, you know, it, it's just, it's above and beyond anything I've ever seen. And as a lot of people know, we'll talk about this later a little bit, is I love body weight stuff. I mean, you know, P90X is a combination of a lot of different things. You know, some dumb, you know, some dumbbells and pull-ups and push-ups and squats and lunges and, and Pilates and yoga and martial arts, which a lot of that is already on Tonal. I mean, you know, so... Uh, and I, I'm a really big believer in having as much access to as many amazing things as possible so that you can stay consistent so that you can get the results that you want, regardless of your age. So there were just too many things about Tonal that were just too perfect for me not to say, yeah, I'm in, you know, when do we start? And I mean, Tony Tonal, it just like it, the alliteration, you couldn't say no. You couldn't really. You really couldn't. I mean, my, my name was Frederick. It just, nah. Not nah. As... We probably wouldn't have asked you. Nope. Um, nope. We don't want this. <laughs> Um, speaking of P90X, P90X was known for heart pounding, intense workouts that got you results. And a lot of that was because you were always having people mix up their moves and keep the body guessing. Um, and I wanted to ask you what our members can expect in the workouts that you created. Like, how did you bring the P90X special sauce into tonal in the five workouts that you created? The five workouts are Fitful Body, action arms, legendary legs and core, legit legs and chest, and yoga flex flow? Well, you know, the special sauce of P90X, uh, it was really, you know, it was variety, 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 you know, working on your weaknesses as much as your strengths, right? And I think the re it worked, P90X worked for three reasons. You know, it worked, it worked because of the variety, it worked because of the camaraderie, you know, the set, the design, the lighting, the humor, you know what I mean? The, the modifications, the intensifications, whatever you want to call it. It just get, it just helped people prevent boredom injuries and plateaus, you know, and so, um, and, and and the humor, obviously, the, the the silliness, pterodactyls backing out of trouble and not smashing your face and all that silly stuff. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah, job in potato soup. Maybe, you know, people are gonna know what the heck I'm talking about. Like early on, Kate and I were talking. She goes, "There's a lot of conversation about a lot soup. of talk about soup, <laughs> about soup and, and and dinosaurs. I'm not sure what's happening, so I'd explain that to her." Um, but you know, you think about what, what Tonal is going to provide the, the, the P90X Tony sauce is going to be there. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, like I was, when I shot them, I, you know, I'm trying to cue, you know, because I'm trying to cue properly. So people do the, it's all about form and function, but at the same time, I'm, you know, I am who I am. I'm not going to, you know, tone things down to get all serious or anything. So that's still there. And I think the fact that, you know, the live beta thing is, is really cool. It's me, all me the whole time working out with you. Which, if you got P90X, you didn't see so much of that. I do a rep or two, and then I go over. I'll go over and give somebody else a hard time, or, or have, you know, talk about form. <clears throat> It'll be fun for all of you to watch me suffer, right? While you do, I mean, not uh, suffer. Suffer is the wrong word. Uh, just have some fun. Um, and because it, because the tonal is so versatile, uh, you're gonna see. You're gonna. It's gonna feel familiar. It's gonna feel familiar. And and because of you know, the way I deliver what I deliver and the fact that there's there's this wide variety and you make you just went down the list, 
it's a very interesting, eclectic variety of moves. Like action arms is just, it was fun just to do a, a routine that was just arms from your shoulders down. You know what I mean? You're getting after forearms, you're getting after your biceps, triceps, and, and, and shoulders. That was just really cool. And then if you look at, um, you know, legs and chest, I've never done a legs and chest routine. And, you know, when we were discussing what to create, you know, I just, what was really great about Tonal is, hey, you guys, I've done these types of workouts here. I'd like to try some new things so it doesn't feel like something I've already done. And so I think people are really going to love, love this variety, love the humor and love the sauce. Got to get that sauce in there. Well, the reviews are already in. I've already seen people. I think I posted this like five hours ago and I've already seen multiple people try the workouts and love them. Richard Hanley said, so amazing to see Tony Horton on the platform, P90X from the days of yore, took his full body workout today on Tonal and loved every minute of it. What an awesome dude and killer workout. So I'm excited to see more and more of these reviews come in. Oh, good. Good. good to know. Good to know that first review was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. It's, it's yeah. uphill from here. <laughs> um, your Instagram feed is full of you doing these crazy fitness feats. I mean, there's pegboards, there's handstands, there's like ropes and just everything. Um, how does, how is tonal fit into your Tony's personal training system at home? Well, you know, it's interesting when my, you, you know, to do those types of things, you need base strength, right? Mm -hmm. You need, you, your muscle, one group of muscles need to be connected to the other group of muscles. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> to be able to even do that kind of stuff, there's a very, very, very long learning curve to be able to do those things if that's purely what you do or unless you're an ex-gymnast and you're 24 years old. <laughs> All right. As a 62-year-old, you know, I have to do, I have to do rudimentary basic fitness movements uh, that I, I wasn't getting in, in, at home, you know, and so... The beautiful thing about tonal is there's a myriad of ways in which I can work my shoulders on the tonal to build base strength so that I can hold my handstands longer. Also, the tonal gives me, uh, based on the incredible range of motion and all these different exercises, uh, it, it helps me with flexibility and strength at the same time so that when I go out and do all that crazy stuff, um, I just feel sturdy and I feel ready to go. You know what I mean? So, you know, I mean, it's just really nice to, to have that variety, to have one working synergistically with the other. Um, and, and, you know, I'm not kidding, but, but tonal really does. I'm, I'm bigger now that I have the tonal than I was before. You okay. know what I mean? Cause okay. I mean, body weight will take you so far, right? Mm -hmm. It'll burn a bunch of calories, get you really strong, get you really lean. And as a 62 year old, you know, I, I talk about sarcopenia a lot. Sarcopenia is something called age related muscle loss. Mm -hmm. And that happens to anybody, you know, who owns a tonal or doesn't own one in your, you know, starts in your late 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s and beyond. And so, you know, it's nice. Where is that thing? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's nice to be able to have some mass again yeah. and and um, which just makes me uh, less vulnerable when I'm doing the crazy ninja stuff in the backyard, more durable in general when I'm when I'm doing other things, plyometrics, which I'll be doing tonight in, in about an hour and a, about an hour, less than an hour. Um so it's just really an important piece to my health and wellness puzzle here at my home. So it's kind of helping you build that foundation so you can go out and do that crazy stuff that we're seeing on Instagram. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think a lot of people who own a total or start using it on a regular basis, if they're doing my routines, you know, um, might want to start playing around doing other things as well. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it, it's, uh, I, I think, you know, I mean, that's the reason why I got involved. You know, a lot of people knocked on my door and I went, no, 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 I don't want to be involved in any of that. And uh, and I was just mesmerized by this. And and, and you know, I, I have a new gym at my home. I mean, I had I in my old place where I used to live. I had a gym in the backyard. It was you know, I had an outdoor area, indoor area, which I still do. I have multiple outdoor areas now. But I built this new gym and I didn't want all the old clunky classic gym equipment yeah. in there. Like mm -hmm. I had a lat pull machine that took up half the room and it did two things. Right. It did pull downs and it did row and that's all it did. And it took up half the room and you had to take a pin and stick it in. And there was no tracking. There was no change mode. There was no eccentric mode. None of that existed on the thing. And I got to get rid of that and put the okay. tool on the wall. And now I have literally hundreds of things I could do on. I mean, talk about your ultimate upgrade. That was, that was awesome. I remember the first time I was deadlifting 140 pounds in my 600 square foot apartment in San Francisco. And I was like, this is this is insane <laughs> that yeah. just clicked for me in that moment. So yeah, you know. yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. Think of all the stuff you don't have to have piled up in your in your small apartment now. No more. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, so speaking of, uh, I mean, I literally had to check the internet to to verify that you are 62. Um, I I remember in our in our workout in our reviews, our creative reviews for your photos, I asked our our designer I said, "Hey Patrick, how how much did you Photoshop those? Because like I, oh, I can't wow. believe it. like there's just no way." And he was you like, asked "That question, did you?" Just a little. <laughs> I mean, come on, 62. Um, I got a Photoshop at 28. <laughs> no, 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 you don't. No, you don't. And so um, I wanted to ask um, one for the names of every single product you use, but also if you have tips for the members of our community who are in their 50s, 60s, 70s, and they might be trying to maintain their fitness or improve their fitness, or they're really just starting with their fitness and health journey for the first time. What is your main advice for them? Wow. This is like a 40 minute answer, but I'm going to cut it down to about two minutes. Okay. You, know, you, need, you need a purpose plan on accountability. You need, a mean, you need a means to track what you're doing so that you can see progress over time. So my purpose is no longer about six pack abs and big arms and, you know, striations and vascularity and, and all that. I mean, it's shaping my body and turning my body to look a certain way. Aesthetically, I don't, you know, it, that, that's, that's a nice af aftermath. That's, a, that's what happens if you're taking care of business, you're doing everything right. But me, it's about, you know, it's, it's as much or more so a mental and emotional thing for me. Mm -hmm. So if I'm working on my tonal and I'm really getting after it, and the cool thing about my workouts, along with many on tonal, is you're on tonal for some, and then you're off tonal doing other things. You're going back and forth, taking advantage of what it does. And also, you know, doing other types of moves um, in conjunction with. And so, you know, I just, you know, you're changing your brain chemistry at that point, you know, norepinephrine, dopamine, serotonin. People have heard me say these things a thousand times if you're a T.H. Horton fan. But it's true. You know what I mean? Like who you are with exercise and who you are without it are two different people. Completely. Especially right now with COVID and the pandemic and everything else, people are cooped up. Oh, my gosh. And the odd thing is a lot, right now, a lot of people are making the worst decisions possible mm -hmm. at the wrong time when in reality, you know, you, you, you should be doing something to take care of yourself, making yourself more durable and less vulnerable. So my purpose is different than it was when I was younger. I just like feeling good. I like being healthy. I like not looking or feeling what, I don't know what 62 is supposed to feel like. It feels like 28 to me. It feels like your age. Perfect. In general, you know, I mean, I still have, I have some creping on my skin because it's a hundred years old, right? But whatever. I put up some moisturizer. I'm fine. Also things like diet, diet and you know, what you put in your gob is, is everything, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so, you know, I, I don't make this purely about, you know, about diet and, you know, I haven't had alcohol in 30 something years. I really? don't like sugar like the plague. I don't eat wheat, soy, wheat, soy, corn or dairy. I just doesn't work for me. Mm -hmm. I'm not a vegan. I'm not a vegetarian. I'm not a paleo. I'm not a flex. I eat healthy food that my great, great grandparents would recognize. You know what I mean? I mean, I eat fish Sunday. I had salmon for lunch mm -hmm. with two vegetables. You know what I mean? Uh, I had, I had, a, I had a vegan breakfast. I'll have, probably have a vegan dinner, but then tomorrow I might have some chicken. You know what I mean? But I just do, I eat foods that I can pronounce that I recognize. I don't, I don't eat out of boxes, bottles, cans, and bags as much as I try to avoid that. You know what I mean? I did find some cauliflower pretzels, hello, which are pretty amazing. Um, but it, those are the basic things. Sleep and stress. I mean, you know, I've been very good at managing my stress, even though I got, we'll talk about my illness, I think, coming up. But, yep. but, um, but I, I mean, you know, it's all about joy and happiness. The pursuit of happiness is in the Constitution, man. So, I, I, I just find ways to smile and laugh and, and humor has been my way to cope for almost my entire lifetime, especially when I was a struggling student with a speech impediment who moved six times before fifth grade. Right. So my childhood, like a lot of people's, was not an easy one, you know, with a lot of, a lot of family things going on and whatnot. But but I mean, humor was my way. And then when I discovered exercise and eating right, and I noticed that it changed everything about who I am, my my productivity, my cognition, my my memory, the quality of my sleep. I mean, it truly is. You you can get off the, the pills, potions, and and alcohol, and, and other things, and just move your butt and eat right, and get some decent sleep, and handle your stress, and 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 your life can be pretty. I mean, the ninja stuff, and the you know, I you know, I can knock out thirty five pull ups. I mean, it's a, I'm a freak, and I couldn't do any of that in my twenties or even thirties. I started figuring this out about midway through my thirties. So, and it's fun, man. I mean, when you figure it out, you just your confidence goes through the roof. There's so many things about who you are, and you look better. And people will notice and they'll say things to you. And it feels good when they do that. You know what I mean? So it's a win, 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 win. And that's that's the reason why, you know. And I moisturize and I'm very lucky that I have dark hair at my age. You know, people are like, you gotta who dyes your hair? I'm so tired of the hair dye question. I do dye this part of my beard. I won't lie to you. A little bit right there, you know, truth be told. 
but I'm, I'm very fortunate. So genetically, I'm in, I'm in pretty good shape to begin with. Uh, I didn't take advantage of any of that when I was younger, but I sure, I sure as hell do now. That's interesting. So for you, it wasn't like you started out in your 20s as this like super young Jackson type character. It's, it's something no. that you developed. No, man. I was drinking the beers and watching the game and sleeping in and and, and doing pantomime down at the Santa Monica Pier to, to get $25 in my hat so I can go buy Cheerios and yogurt and then yeah. figure out what the next thing I would do. I, I mean, my ambition was to have some when I was mm -hmm. younger. Uh, I moved to California just because I came out here for a summer and I fell in love with this place and all the opportunity. But I, I, I was, I was a pretty lazy kickback dude for a while. It didn't work though. I didn't like being poor and sad and lonely, depressed and alone. So, so I just started exercising. I went, oh, wow. I see my student with a speech impediment. You know, I, oh, I just feel like I want to get more done. I want to meet more people. I want to have more experiences. I want to do more personal development. I want to, I want to try things. I want to go mountain biking. What's that like? I want to, you know, I want to ski here in these high Sierras and in the, in the, you know, up in Canada. And I just started, you know, exercise opened up, you know, endless doors for me. And then the changing my diet, the combination mm -hmm. uh, really, really changed everything. So if you're watching this and you might not be feeling your best lately, start moving a little bit, start getting a little sun, start moving, drink your water, moisturize. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, it's sort of life 101. Like you can, go, you can go one of two directions, right, man? You can go one of two directions. And what one, it's just always taking action. It's always taking some action. And when you when you purchase a tonal, think about what that is in your home right now. Like mm -hmm. that's an ex absolute excuse killer. Mm -hmm. All you do is right tap it. You tap it and then everything appears. And then you just start making some decisions. Like, okay, mm, you know what I mean? And, well, you know what? I want to dance today. Yeah. You know what? I feel like I'm really tight. There's, there's, the, there's all those amazing, uh, there's Francis with all those amazing options. You know, there's Jackson. He's, he's a maniac. Let me get after some of his stuff. Oh, that Tony Horton guy. Oh, that's Tony. Let's, see, let's see if that guy's still funny. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll be the judge of that. Well, the beauty of it too, is if you're just getting into fitness, you can do it in the privacy of your own home and you don't have to be self-conscious about, am I doing this right? Am I moving wrong? Is my butt too high in the air? And Tona will tell you too, we've got that form feedback where it's like, exactly. your shoulder, bring your elbows to your wrists. So it's really like a safe, comfortable environment to push your boundaries, which I love. Absolutely. People of all ages. Yeah. Um, so what are your, if you had to boil it down, I know we just talked about a lot of things that you do, but if you had to boil it down to three non-negotiables for you in your day-to-day -day life, like wellness tips, health tips, because I'm sure you've tried all the things, all the infrared saunas, all of the cryotherapy, all of the things, all the supplements, what are your three non-negotiables? Well, you know, I wrote a book about this. There were there were eleven things. You know what I mean? I wrote the, I wrote the it, it was sort of an autobiographical personal development book. You know, and so uh, you know, I, I have a patented phrase, and many people in here know what that is already. Do your best and forget the rest. You know, and what that basically means is sometimes we have these sort of um, unobtainable expectations. You know, and it, and those expectations relate to what's happening today what our expectations are for the future. You know, a lot of times we're making comparisons to, from, to now from the past, mm -hmm. which is also some wasted energy. You know what I mean? And so doing your best and forgetting the rest means you have to be very self-aware that it changes from day to day. Workout ch workouts change, the weather changes, traffic changes, everything changes. The way your kids behave day, hour to hour changes. And so who, who can you be in the moment to be able to get the best out of the situation? And, and saying no to opportunities or a workout or whatever it is gives you nothing. What are the first two letters of nothing? No. And so it's just a, a lose, lose there, man. And so some days you lighten your load and you do less reps and you don't, you don't freak out about your range of motion. And, and you just, you know, you just, you just tap the tonal and, and, and see what you can do on that particular day. And that applies to almost every aspect of your life. You know what I mean? And then, you know, next, Next is a combination of three things, purpose, plan, and accountability. And, and my, I talked about purpose, but a plan is making sure you know what to do and when to do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like prioritizing is everything. You have to mm -hmm. prioritize this lifestyle because most people are in survival mode. Mm -hmm. and, and after high school or college, whatever opportunities they have kind of fall to the wayside and they're just sort of paying their bills and they're keeping a roof over their head. They're mm -hmm. trying to, you know, 
watching the ball games on the weekend and they're just aging like their ancestors and their parents and their grandparents or the people around them. And you can completely turn that around. You can change your genetics in your lifetime if you decide to make better choices. And that comes with food and hydration and sleep and stress and regular exercise. You know what I mean? But you have to plan that stuff. You have to know when to do it. Like I know that after we're done, I got 15 minutes to get ready for my, my playa workout happening at six o'clock. I've already scheduled it. It's on the calendar. Uh, it's there tomorrow morning at 730. It's going to be, you know, chest and back for me. And I got friends coming. And so, you know, we're going to all play on the tonal and do some body weight stuff as well. While one guy's on the tonal, somebody else is on the floor and we're just going to go back and forth. And, and I'm getting more guys to show up here now that I have a tonal, which is kind of <laughs> like, dude, yeah, can I, you know, they all want to play. They all want to play. I'm How do you know if they're your friends really, or if they're just, yeah, that's the right. Maybe I'll just put a big, you know, you sign on it, see if they keep showing up. Uh, but, Send them your referral code. Buy yeah, your own guy. I'm not going to tell them how to get in. Uh, so purpose plan and then being accountable. You know what I mean? Some people are very, you know, people who live in, you know, the northern United States and it's right now it's, you know, fall going into winter and it's ice cold in their basement. And they go down there and they work out at the crack of, you know, dawn and they got to do whatever they do and then get up and feed their kids and go to work. I don't know who you are. You're a superhero. You need a badge, a medal, an honor or something. Me, I need other people in the room. And so, you know, what's really great about the tonal community, you've got each other here and, you know, you can, you can motivate each other and talk and communicate with each other, which is really cool. I mean, here's one venue right happening right now, right? Like I, I would hope that this would be somewhat motivating for everybody. Like, yeah, here we go. I love my tonal. I've been doing X, Y, and Z. Let's play with, with some what, what Tony's got to offer. And, and so far we've got one good review. Hopefully we'll get two or three soon and more, right? And so that's that's what it is. And then last but not least, is just noticing that things are improving, tracking mm -hmm. your progress. You know what I mean? I mean, a lot of people are doing the same things over and over again, expecting a different result. Hello, like we, thank you, Albert Einstein for that one. Um, but yeah, I mean, and, and Total does that. You don't have to break out your pad of paper and a pen anymore mm -hmm. and write, write that down. It's already there. Not to say that that doesn't work on some other type of routines that you do, maybe some my old my old workouts. But that was, you know, I mean, it's time to modernize. It's time to let 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 Total help you do those types of things. And that that that's with everything. Like, you know, I, I track how I communicate with people, what kind of language I use, what kind of words that I try to use, you know, especially as somebody who's a communicator. That's kind of what I have to be on the tonal, sharing what I know, having some humor along the way and making sure that you do things right. You know, I mean, that's just, there's so many categories where you should kind of keep an eye on, on whether you're improving as a human being. Are you more altruistic? Are you more civil with folks? Are you more understanding? Are you more patient? Like these are all things, patience is a virtue. Who doesn't want to be virtuous, right? So these, these are just, you know, and, and the, the health and wellness aspect, the fitness part of it is what, is what I do with tonal. So, you know, that that's it, man. Those are my non-negotiables right there. If you get that stuff lined up, right? You do your best to get the rest, purpose plan accountability, you track your progress. It's nowhere but up. But I don't it, it goes, it goes like this a little bit, but it should always move in the right direction because you're taking action and you're doing the right things. I love that it's the basics. You're not telling people they need to go out and do these crazy things. It's yeah, you know, you know like I, of course you foam roll. Of course you take, you know, you do your 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 uh you do your yoga and your meditation and, and you drink an eight ounce, eight, eight ounce glasses of water. That's the basic stuff. I'm going, I want to go like 18 layers deeper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who we are as human beings. Sure. Right. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, if you've got a lot of hate in your life, right. Mm -hmm. They're just, oh, if you're this person, eh, that's, that's, a, that's some energy. That's That's an energy suck. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, what if you like, what if you, everybody here went out of your way in the next 24 hours and did something really nice for somebody you're in conflict with right now? Ooh, not even just a random person. No, somebody like, like somebody you're like, you, you're doing this with. And you call Ooh. them, hey, man, let's cut this out. I love you, man. I love you because, you know, you're my family. Or or you just you just write them a check for 100 bucks, stick it in the mail. I mean, that's why I'm we fighting. Are we fighting right now? I think we're fighting. You got to do something <laughs> for me. I'll give you my address later. Oh, all right. Check's in the mail. <laughs> Um, speaking of having hatred in your heart and, and that energy and how it can impact your, your physiology, um, you were diagnosed with um, a pretty significant and life-changing um, disease or in 2017. Um, you revealed that you had Ramsey-Hunt syndrome, and it's a rare complication of shingles. 
and it can cause all sorts of really damaging, de debilitating symptoms like facial paralysis, vertigo, pain. You described it as the most, I mean, I could keep going. You described it as the most pain you've ever been through and you ranked it above shattered, broken legs and shattered kneecaps. Um, but you got through it and you're back to doing your pegboards and your handstands and your crazy activities. Um, but how did this experience change you, this diagnosis change you and what lessons did you learn from it? Mm. Well, you know, it's like the frog in the frying pan scenario. A lot of people, like, you know, you put the frog in the frying pan and you turn up the heat really slowly and it cooks itself. And that's what I was doing. I was, I was not aware of the, the amount of stress that I was under and it all kind of built up. I mean, if you've had chicken pox, uh, the shingles virus lives in your body until, you know, any, it, there's a, numerous ways in which it might rise, rise up. For me, you know, I was having some con contractual issues with, with the old company that was, was uh, not going according to the way I wanted it to go, which was stressful. It meant, it meant there was time for some serious change. And one of those changes was being here with Tonal. So in the end, it ended up being, you know, really good for me. I had my own supplement line. I had my own fitness equipment line. There's a lot of really amazing opportunities that have popped up. But at that time, it felt like the end of the world, you know. Right. Plus, there was the Vegas shooting that happened. I had friends that were there. Right. And the following day after the Vegas shooting, Tom, my, you know, I've been trained Tom Petty for, for 32 years. And he, you know, he passed away. So I just felt like the world was coming crashing down. And and I was just, you know, I was worked up. I mean, my adrenal glands were fried. My cortisol levels were probably through the roof. I, I was probably dehydrated. I had I was going through like a four month dietary shift that I was struggling with at that time. I wasn't getting enough calories, and you know I don't know why I did it. It was probably a bad idea, but you know just one of those things. Not meditating, not dealing with my stress, and I got hammered, and I couldn't walk, and I couldn't taste, and I couldn't smell, and I I got Bell's palsy, and and I, I was like a drunken sailor on a cruise ship in a hurricane, twenty four seven. Couldn't get out of bed, vomiting all day for weeks and weeks and weeks. Oh my God. Um, but yeah, that's just the nature of Ramsey Hunt syndrome. It's shingles in your ear and all the all the facial nerves and everything. So um, vision and smell and taste and hearing and everything and and your balance. It's not vertigo as much as it is just sort of a. It feels like brain Parkinson's is what it feels like. And can, in conjunction with that, you end up with. Uh, I ended up with um, um, not mono, but but uh, Epstein Barr which you just feel like you're exhausted. So I'm dizzy, I'm nauseous, I'm vomiting, and I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's just, and I lost 25 pounds. What's that? How long did that last for, those symptoms? For months, and I still I still have it, I'll have it for the rest of my life. Wow. I don't, it's not a 10, you know, for, for about three months it was a 10, and then it was a nine for three months, and then it was an eight for three months, and then it was a seven, and it was a seven, I could kind of, I couldn't work out yet, I could start to drive, you know, and I could eat more food. The Bell's palsy went away. It just, you know, and here it is three years, October. And, you know, it changes by the hour, by the day, because of light, lightness in the room, how dark, like I can go from a light room into a dark closet and wham, I'm, I'm, it's trouble. So I meditate every day, all the time, three times a day. I just Three times a day. How long each time? Uh, sometimes two minutes. Quick. Sometimes yeah. two minutes. I don't need to meditate for more than 10. Sometimes mm -hmm. I need 10 mm -hmm. uh, in all kinds of different forms. You know, there's a great book. Um, I'll show everybody this book. It's a thick one. We got to get some tonal, Tony meditation on tonal. Oh, so if you don't own this book, can you see that? Full, Full catastrophic yeah. living. John Cabot Zinn's book. Okay. Using the wisdom of your body and mind to face stress, pain, and illness. It's a, it's, it's a godsend for me. Uh, really. And you know, I didn't grow up with meditation. I grew, I grew up Catholic, you know what I mean? And so a lot of people, it's very foreign and they don't really see any advantages to it. You just sit there, I, they, you know, and like, that's why yoga is hard because yoga forces you to be in the moment, for, forces you to be present, forces you to breathe, forces you to deal with your stuff. And meditation is, is, is very similar to that. So, but when, you know, all the tinctures and medications and doctors and, and, and all the King's horsemen and all the King's men can't put you back together again, you, you got to find, something you got to be quiet because the pendulum swings in both directions whether you like it or not i didn't let it swing in the other direction i was all about this yang you know we say yin and yang yang mm -hmm. energy where i was just working hard stressed out things are happening and i wasn't getting proper sleep and i wasn't hydrated and i wasn't getting enough calories and i wasn't meditating and so i got hammered so don't let that happen to you because you know, and I'll, I'll deal with this for the rest of my life on some level and it's rarely ever like a let's say a tense horrible 
it was a five two Saturdays ago, which was really disconcerting. I haven't felt like that in a while. And when it's a five, I don't, I, I can't do anything. I, you know, I can get, I can get do emails. I can't work out. Driving is harder. It's just something that, that well, and it, the shorter answer is, it allows you to learn how to be in the moment. All right, the past mm -hmm. is history. Plan for the future. Live in the moment and be here, be present. That's who I try to be more than ever. Well, I love that you included a yoga workout in your first round, your first batch of content for Tonal. And that kind of solidifies that point that you need the yin and the yang. You need to recover. You need to stretch. You need to mobilize. You need to come back into your into the parasympathetic mode and rest and recover so that you can reap the benefits of those other four workouts where, you know, Tony's putting you through the ringer <laughs> in legendary legs or whatever. Yeah. 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 That was really cool about Tonal as well. I said, hey, you know, we originally we were going to shoot four, you know, start with four because it was my first time getting, you know, used to the queuing mm -hmm. and, and the new crew and everybody else, new, new producers, directors. And I worked with Francis and, and uh, Jackson both helped me. They were really super helpful on just, you know, just working, working the tonal. So it was really smooth. And, um, and they said, Hey, what, what, what would you have time? Do you, you know, cause things are moving along pretty quickly. I, I picked it up pretty well. And so, Hey, we'd like to shoot another one. What, what would you like? And I said, I'd love to do yoga. And they said, let's do it. And so love I'm it. thrilled that it's on there. I can't wait to try it. That's my next step, next step in the queue. Um, and speaking of the content you brought to Tonal already, um, we've got those four hardcore workouts and then the yoga. Uh, what what can we expect? What's next? What's on the horizon? Oh, well, you know, it's funny. Uh, one of the producers, uh, Woody, maybe you might have, maybe not know who Woody is, but Woody uh, used to work with me back in the old days with Beachbody. So it's really nice to have a familiar face. Oh, cool. He's he, a knows, great he knows my thing. He knows how insane I can be, mm -hmm. and uh, but he doesn't mind. And we had that conversation today, you know, uh, we were kind of brainstorming. So the idea here is to, you know, find five more that feel fresh, that feel different, that, you know, that attack different body parts in different ways, uh, that also work in conjunction with these first five. And so mm -hmm. um, we had some nice ideas. I don't want to give away too much too soon because we could change our mind, but uh, mm, it'll cost you. Yes. You'll have to write that, send me that $100 check back. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I really, I really, I think it's going to be eyebrows and fingernails and kneecap. We're really going to get after some interesting parts of the body. Super um, niche. <laughs> follicles. We're going to work on hair follicles. Uh, make your hair grow. Um, but no, we. I just really do want to, you know, just make it really fun um, and make it uh, make them work with the first five. So that's all I can give you right now. I'm sorry. I wish all right, fine. We'll take what we can get. Some folks are asking, and um, they're already they're already trying your workouts, and they wanted to know where. If you if you had to say where would you place a rest day in those in those five workouts first five workouts that you created? Well, if you look at the yoga 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 is um, the last of the five, and that's mm -hmm. it's kind of an I, I would call it an active active rest day as it is. I, I would say I would pop it in between those two legs that that are in the list back to back. That's that's where your rest day should be. Rest day. Um, uh, in my opinion, it's a nice little spot for it, and um, uh, which means you know I always say you know, you want to work out four five, six days a week. Right. So, um, and then since I've got five here, they're already there. You take a day off. Maybe that's your active rest day. Active rest day for me are sit, swimming, hiking, biking, walking. You know what I mean? Like I, I live in a hilly neighborhood. So for me, you know, I take my dog, Charlie, and I, you know, we just go for a big old walk up this long hill or we, in my backyard, there's a, a you know, 21 miles of hiking trails. I can go as deep as I can go in there. And that's, you know, it's not high heart rate. It's not super intense. It's just getting outside, getting some fresh air and, and doing it, you know, swimming if you have access to, to water, ocean, pool. Not everyone does. But, you know, going for a hike or, or like a fast walk or, or even like a slow run or something like that. Or get on your bike, you know, if you have it. I know winter's coming for a lot of you and that's not possible. You know, like for me, I have a, I have a gym with a lot of cardio equipment as well. And so I'll just go in there and see if I can... I can burn 200 calories, which is not, you know, it's not a 550 calorie day. It's just, oh, I look at my watch. Yeah, that's 200 calories. I, I'm starting to glisten. And now I feel like I've recovered from where I did the day before. But yeah, between those two legs, day, leg days is perfect. If you want to get crazy with it, you can try some dance cardio. You can do some kickboxing or some bar Pilates, which I thought would be recovery. Oh, my God, it really wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Right. The floor was on fire. Yeah. Um, anyways, I want to save a little bit of time for questions. So yeah, if you great. have questions for Tony, uh, pop yeah. them in the chat below. We have tons of people tuning in, 
uh, saying that they've tried your, they said yoga was not a recovery and it was a workout for them. <laughs> oh, we've already done my yoga. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Another review. Well, it, you know, it, it's not initially, you know what I mean? That's the idea. I mean, yoga is a process that over time you'll get better and you know, the burn is less and less and it's more about breathing and you know, you're, you're training your body to get stronger with yoga because you're working on balance. You're working on flexibility, strength, and mindfulness all four at once, which is pretty impressive. I mean, not a whole lot of things do that. And, and you know, the 20th time, it will be a, it will be a much more mindful experience than the first five or six or seven, right? So that's why you keep doing it. Yeah, it's important to come back to it so you can feel the differences yeah. from yeah. time. Yeah, I mean, that's it. Like, you know, I have routines that I used to do 20 years ago that are super easy for me. So yeah. I, have to, I have to change them completely, add more repetitions, add more resistance or whatever it is. And that's what's cool about the tonal, like, you know, 200 pounds of pressure on each arm, uh, there, you know, like between the 70 and the 100. I don't know what that's for. On the tonal. <laughs> I don't know who's Jackson. Yeah. Over there, you yeah. know I mean? <laughs> but, you know, tricep, bicep. Yeah. You know, I mean, goblet squats, you know, I can I, I move it up there a little bit. But but uh, yeah, that 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 one thing about tonal is it'll let you grow and get better over time. Absolutely. Um, before we get into questions, I have one final question for you, Tony. What does it mean for you, Tony Horton, to be your strongest? You know, it's different. Like I said earlier, it's different than it was for me when I was younger. For me, being strong was just looking strong and being strong and beating people in arm wrestling contests, you know, <laughs> that's just or whatever, you know. For me right now, being strong is as a 62 year old throwing on my skis and going to Jackson Hole and firing down that mountain top to bottom. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's taking advantage of these exercises and then going applying what this, you know, this time and, and energy into something that you love, some hobby that you love, whether it's mountain biking or, or, or skiing or snowboarding or, 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 or ice climbing. I don't know what your thing is, but it's also, it's also, um, you know, it's a mixture of, of the physical, mental and emotional. You know what I mean? It's not so much just the physical anymore. Strength really comes for me is about the quality of my life. And, you know, my how what is my relationship with my wife? What's my relationship with my friends? You know, am I focusing less on myself? Like the whole idea about personal development and, and being fit and using tonal as part of that is getting your act together good enough so that it's not about you anymore. Wow, it's, about, it's, it's about, oh, well, I mean, look, I mean, I've sold 11 million copies of workouts you know, around the world. I mean, I've, I've fans in Chile and Antarctica, Antarctica. I mean, like who would have thunk, you know, I mean, I'm blessed, blessed beyond my wildest dreams, you know, that I can have that kind of impact. And so, you know, that's the reason why I wrote, that's the reason why I did all that personal development stuff. That's why the reason I wrote the big picture is because I wanted to share all my trials, tribulations, stories, journey with other people so that they could, they could grow and improve. And because too many people are suffering, too many people are, are, suffering from a, from, you know, a panoply of different ailments and issues and whether they're physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual, there's a lot of people who are struggling who don't need to. Um, and a lot of it really comes down to just, you know, getting off the hooch and eating better and getting on your tonal. I mean, you know, that's like, that's the foundation of who I was and who I am. And so everything lines up and then you can, you know, strength is being a good human being, being a, being a, a quality human being that's looking out for others. That's, that's strength. Beautiful. Yeah. Building up that strength so you can go out and serve others and be a better human. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. A couple questions for you. Um, Carly asks, can we expect more of the famous Tony Horton humor? Good grief. We only hope so. My <laughs> gosh. I hope I'm, I, you know, because, Today I went down there and I'm so petrified to watch myself. I just like, you know, I go, dude, you look 62. What the heck? I got to talk to Tonal and upgrade my lighting. I mean, what is happening? Or more thicker makeup. You know, I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, there was, I got a little chuckle out of a couple of things that I watched this afternoon. Um, I haven't seen it all. You know, when you're on set, you're sort of zeroing in. Like when I was on set for P90X and all those things, I have no memory of any of it ever being funny while I'm saying it. It just sort of comes, you know, oh, no. how long does it take you to rehearse this stuff? Rehearse it. I just say some, say some things, you know? And um, so, yeah, I think we had a lot of fun when I was there. I remember it all. And uh, I think it will be there. The humor will be there. I mean, come on. Hello. 
Um, yeah, we can't dial that down if we tried. Mm, yeah. Oh, you could try, but you know, <laughs> bad things would happen if you did. One last question. This is actually from Coach Nicolette. She says, hey, Tony, Coach Nicolette here. I'd love to hear what your favorite part about the Tonal Studio was and how it felt different from other studios you recorded in. Well, it's very clean. You can eat off the floors in there. You know, Nicolette, you know, I mean, it's like, um, I just thought that it was really different and that it was really cool. And, 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 it, and what's nice about it is it's not distracting. Not, not that what I did, you know, we had lockers and posters and things and cast members and there was all this stuff going on. It's just a different feel. Not that there's a, a right or wrong on either one of them. It's just, again, it's just adding more variety. And, um, you know, the neat thing about what I was able to do is that I had the, I had the live beta vibe going on. So we weren't cutting back and forth between somebody demonstrating the move and, and mm -hmm. the coach, you know, okay. way, action arms, I wanted to crank it up. So I did. And I put the chains mode on there, you know, and there I look like I'm going to burst. Uh, so you'll, you'll experience that. Um, but it's just really clean and really simple. And it's really about the tonal in me and the cueing and your experience. And, um, and that's the approach that, that tonal has taken. Um, I, I'll probably speak out of turn. There's, there's conversations about making adjustments possibly or not. Not no, yes, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, yes, um, potentially. We'll potentially, talk about that later. But maybe not. But it, it, you know, um, I, I I loved it. I really enjoyed it, and they gave me my own special color, which I felt really good about. Yeah, the Tony we were, color. We spent a whole like half a day on playing with Tony's color. What's Tony's color? I really enjoyed in your workout that you you brought you made me feel like I was in the studio with you. You kind of talked to the camera person. You kind of made references to me being right there. I felt like we were working out together. It was really cool. Yeah, good. Well, that was our intention. I'm I'm glad you felt that way. So yeah, yeah, good um, question. I promised I'd get you out of here by five forty-five, so I don't want to keep you any longer. It was such a joy chatting with you. I feel inspired. I want to go ask our data scientists to tell, let me know if there's a spike in the, in workouts after this, because I have a feeling other people are going to be feeling motivated as well. Um, thank you so much, Tony, for your time and your energy for the, the time and the energy that you not only spent into being with me, with us for these 45 minutes, but for, into all the, the effort you put into the content that we are all going to benefit from. So we're all really excited and really grateful to have you part of the team. Well, Kate, thank you for having me. Uh, I was actually really looking forward to this today, seeing all these amazing comments over here along the side of the page. So it's it's fun that uh, more and more people are able to sort of, you know, get to see me in a, in a new world, in a new way. And uh, it, it's been a fun ride. It's, it's an amazing organization. Everyone that I've worked with on the set, working with you, working with Mike, working with, you know, Ryan, uh, and everybody else, uh, you know, the producers and the directors and everybody, it's just an amazing, you guys are like a weld oil machine and mm -hmm. I'm really excited for the future as well. Uh, and I'm looking forward to continuing to make more content for everybody and having some more fun and having uh, you know, a little humor in there too. So more Tony to come and Tony, I'll be over at your house for a workout soon. I'm, I want to come join. All me. right. All right. You got it. You got it. You got it. We'll, have, we'll have you over for one of the, for plyo or yoga or, or something. Make it an easy one because Jackson said he went to your house for a workout and he didn't walk for three days. So maybe not that one. Whatever he yeah, does. Yeah, an easy one. Yeah, we don't have those here. <laughs> we don't have those here. So, you know, with you oh, hey, look, we don't judge anybody. You do the best. You forget the rest and you'll be just fine. We're not some, we're, I, you know me, I'm not a drill sergeant. That's not my way of doing things. I, I'm just, anybody who shows up and does the best they can uh, and they understand that's how it goes, then I'm fired up for you. So we'll, right. we'll have you over, Kate. All right. Thank All you, right. Tony. Have thank a good day. And thank you, everybody, for uh, for checking out my new content and for being here tonight. I appreciate all of you for being here. So um, right on. We'll see you soon. Have a great night. You too. Bye. Thank you so much, Tony. And thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. That was fun. Let's do it again sometime. Um, in the meantime, join Coach Nicolette tomorrow for Ask a Coach at 4 p.m. If you have questions, Coach Nicolette is here to answer them. Go to the event tab. Get your questions in for her and she will answer them live at 4 p.m. Pacific time. That's all for me tonight. I will see you all next week. Have a wonderful evening.